Alright, hey guys, this video is on how to transition from Windows to Ubuntu. Um, like most of you guys, I also had Windows. Um, it would just give me so many viruses, and it would be a pain to back up all the files, and you just go on a site, five seconds later, your computer is infected, you can't do anything on it, so I switched to Ubuntu. Um, it's basically another operating system, just like Windows. Um, Oh, main reason a lot of people don't switch to Ubuntu is because they need uh, word um, processors. Uh, they need, you know, like uh, they need something like that, like Excel, you know, all this. But anyway, uh, with this, if you just type in Office, you get this LibreOffice. Um, it's a document foundation. It has something like Word, something like Excel, PowerPoint, you know, Paint, whatnot. But if you want, if you need it to be on a Word format, you just use a text document. You just launch it, and you know, just type whatever uh, file. You just save as. And then you can click like rich text format, Microsoft Word, you know, 97, 2000. It gives you a lot of options. You can even just do a simple text format. But anyway, um, if you need to do that for school or something, just whatever. Um, a few things that people wanted to know how to do on Ubuntu that they were so used to doing on Word was, first of all, let's see how to install Ubuntu. You just go to Ubuntu, type Ubuntu in. you know and then it just takes you this get ubuntu just down you can run it with windows that's one of the good things um right now on my computer i have about 70% ubuntu uh disk space and about 30% to uh windows but anyway if i restart my computer right now and re when it reboots it will give me the option to either boot ubuntu or windows so if i need to go back to windows for any reason Hopefully I won't, but if I do, I always have it there. Um, so you can run it side by side, or if you just want to go all Ubuntu, go ahead and install it. You just download and install, you know. Um, the latest version is 11.04 as of 2011, um, July. But anyway, 32-bit is what is the best, because unless you have a really fast computer with 64-bit, I would choose 32, but anyway... Just follow the instructions, download it. It will ask you how much space you want on Ubuntu and how much you want on uh, Microsoft if you run if you choose to run it side by side. If you want something else, this is part of Linux. It's like a base of Linux, but if you want something else, you know, there's other things like other than Ubuntu that you can get if you don't like this style. For if you need if you're an editor, video editor, and if you need a bunch of editing software, you know, there's something like that. Um, anyway, a few things that I would like to show you how to do is, first of all, um, a lot of people go to this thing called VTOL. It's basically people broadcast streams and you can watch it. You know, they have Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, South Park, uh, a lot of sports, whatnot. Anyway, how to get this. If you just click download, it won't work. You have to go to other systems. Linux and self-contained, you know. Let that load. You open with it. I have it downloaded already here. Go to open containing folder. You have to do this if you want to install it. You go to properties. Anyway, this is the folder that it's saved in. This is Vital Linux. This is the one you want to go to. You go to properties permissions um you have to check mark this box for it to work properly allow executing file as a program um if you don't it won't work ubuntu is just very you need to tell it exactly what to do and everything needs to be right to work it's not like windows where it kind of spoon feeds you but anyway i like it a lot better it's cleaner faster no virus virus free for the most part, I mean, there might be one or two viruses, but, I mean, who wants to develop a virus for something very few people use? Um, anyway, it's my first video, so I hope I'm not making it too boring or making too many mistakes. But anyway, um, another thing, people wanted to record themselves on 
their computer screen, so... You know what, I'll show you something else first. Uh, they wanted to download YouTube videos. So... Anyway, you go to YouTube. YouTube will not work when you first download Ubuntu. You have to go to Software Center. It's kind of like the App Store. You tie. You have to get Flash. You have to get the Flash player. Um, it might crash. I mean, people say it crashes a lot. For me, it really crashes. Like maybe once, uh, very. F I mean, maybe once a month. I don't know. If it crashes, nothing major. It just reloads your video. Uh, Firefox just restarts. But um, they're working on making it better. But anyway, you have to install Flash. You can install anything else, pretty much that you have on Windows. Um, alright, let's just go to a random video. I don't even know what this is. Alright. Apparently, people don't like it, but anyway. You just... Ubuntu is so fast, you just let it... Let the thing buffer all the way. I don't even think you have to, you know what. Anyway, you click the little fish icon. I'll show you how to get to it in a minute. And you just click download save as uh you know whatever it automatically um you have to be on this tab to make it work see if i go on the ubuntu tab and use unplug i don't think it will work see there's nothing you have to be on the youtube tab wrong one you have to be on the youtube tab and it will find it you just download save as whatever you know it's basic stuff um, I'm not really going to go into great depth about how to install software. I mean, if you don't know how to do that, just don't get Ubuntu. Um, I mean, Ubuntu, you need some kind of computer experience. I mean, you don't need to be a pro, but anyway, um, to get that little fish icon, it's called Unplug, you go to Firefox, Add-ons, and let's see, you just enter that click on that my computer's a little slow today anyway um you type in unplug i mean ubuntu is reasonably fast it's not going to be like internet connection that you find in an office workplaces but still it's it's a lot faster than windows you go to add to fire uh fox allow um, you know, you click allow, and then it says, uh, it needs to restart Firefox. So, I mean, yes, Firefox. So, you just let it restart, and then, once you're installing, when you're installing it, make sure you click on the little bar that says, it, it'll ask you, do you want it on your toolbar? You just say yes. Um, I hope I'm not making this video too long, but anyway, I'll just show you a few useful things. Um, and then you get that on the side. There's no video on this page, but anyway, like you just go to YouTube video, you know, um, you know, download, save as. I already showed you how to do it. Create a file on your desktop, uh, mine and record. You know, whatever. Here's the videos that are downloaded. Anyway, it will. It, it's a pretty useful app. Um, safe. Once again, Ubuntu is virus free. There's not really any viruses on it. Um, uh, one more thing. People wanted to record themselves. Um, so, let's see. The easiest one, it's really basic. It doesn't give you much, many features. It'll give you high quality, reasonable quality. As you can see, it's pretty good quality. But, you type in desktop recorder. Okay. I don't know why it didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work whenever you type in recorder so anyway you just type in desktop it'll be like a few rows down if not just find this app it's called desktop recorder um if you haven't installed it yet instead of this remove icon there will be an install icon um you know you just install it i don't know some people say poor quality locks computer forced to reboot I, I never i use this app so much i never had any experiences with like that uh, I guess I just on your computer, but anyway, install that, and then, let's see, I'll show you how it is. You just go to desktop recorder, 
and uh, sound quality, video quality. You have some advanced settings, obviously. You can do, you know, where you want stuff. Um, full shots at every frame. That's probably take up a lot of space, but you can configure where your sound's coming from, like my microphone. Um, and then you did. You can select which window. Like, if you just want to select this one window, I know it kind of is confusing because we're recording inside a video that's already being recorded. But anyway, this is the. Th if you want to just record everything that you see in this one little window, you can click select window and then you can select your window. But anyway, um, if I want to pause the video or stop it in case I mess up or something, um, I can do that. And editing software. Open Shot Video Editor. It's free. It's a pretty good app uh, application for f something that's free at least. The other ones cost a lot of money. Anyway, you can just upload, click at import file, import your video, you know, add a track. You can add how many ever tracks you want. If you want to uh, dub a track, you know, you just mute, uh, you cut a part of the first track and then mute it mute that one part and then play the second track whatever you want you know whatever you want to do it, I mean it's not like if you're a professional video editor or whatever um anyway it's just a basic thing um let's see you know I think I already told you any basic every basic thing but it, you know if you can't find it in software center um you probably find it somewhere else on the site. They'll probably have a version for Linux. As far as computer games, like the ones you buy on the, at the store, um, some games you might be able to play on Linux, but most of them you don't. Um, that's why if you want to keep, w if you want to run Windows side by side, it's useful. So if I just click restart, it, t it literally takes five seconds to shut the computer down on Ubuntu. It takes about 15, 20 seconds to boot it. They're working on a 10 second boot, so you know, it's it's a lot faster on Windows. On my computer, Windows takes five minutes. On the same exact computer, Ubuntu takes about 15 seconds. It's just, I love Ubuntu so much more. Um, I think I already showed you Word, stuff like that. Anyway, wrap this video up. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, concerns, what you want me to show you how to do, um, you know, there's a thing called Terminal. I mean, if you really know what you're doing, you don't even have to do, you just want the package, you know, you type in your package, whatever you want, it installs it, but, you know, if you want to do it just like in Windows, go, you can do it, um, so I really recommend getting Ubuntu, it's 100% free, um, no virus, nothing, um, like, I can literally go to a site that you know you'd get a virus on in uh, Windows and you won't, nothing will happen to your computer on here. It's just a totally different system. Um, but there's also an app that you can get. Um, I forgot what it's called. I'll post it in the description. But uh, it converts everything from where uh, Microsoft into Ubuntu, so you can pretty much run any program. But then again, if you do that, you're opening up Ubuntu to viruses and everything that, I mean, that we, the whole point was to get away from. So, I mean, there's an alternative for everything. You can obviously save it as a word. Um, anyway, I hope I didn't bore you guys too much. It's my first video. Um, if you want to do some, if you want to know how to do something else on Ubuntu, just let me know. Other than that, thanks a lot, guys.